What is up? My name is Matthew McCack. This is Teach the Teach 101 on the Dice Tower, where I teach you general ch tips and tricks on how to teach board games. And in this video, I'll be covering how to teach children board games. Wow, I can't speak today. Now, I do not work with uh, children professionally. I'm not like a elementary school teacher. I'm not um, a mental health counselor for children or anything like that. Uh, and I'm not a parent to children or anything like that. But I have taught children board games. I have also taught board games to adults who act like children. So one of my first tips to teaching children board games is, I mean, we're talking about an age range here, right? So I, I think that I, I'm talking about pretty much ages like five to maybe 12, I would say, uh, which is a huge range. Uh, and, and I know that there's a lot of differences between like even a five and a six year old, but we're going to keep it within that range. So uh, picking the right game is super important. You don't want to overdo it for the child. I would say you don't want to push it like if the child is five years old and uh, you have a game that's meant for like six years old and above and, and you try it with them and it's not working out, I would say don't freak out, you know? Like you wanna pick the right game for your child, you know your child uh, best, or uh, a, a friend's child or your nephew, niece, whatever it might be, uh, whoever you're teaching. So pick the right game, something that uh, is exciting for them, first of all, uh, one that you think uh, they can handle and then um, maybe you could push the bar a little bit and see like, can you handle this? You know, and if they can't, whatever, you forget it, you do something else, it's a little bit easier. And with that, this also takes a lot of patience. You need patience when teaching children. I think you need patience when teaching anything to anybody, but especially with children. Uh, they can be rowdy sometimes. Maybe they're not, right? You, uh, all children are different. Uh, some want more action-paced things. Others want to be a little more uh, quiet and, um, you know, chill. But uh, they, they might, you know, they might not have the attention span of somebody who's a little bit older, you know, or maybe they don't have the attention span even of their particular age group, and that's okay. So patience goes a long way along with uh, picking the right game to teach. Also, you probably want to pick shorter games because children usually have shorter attention spans. Again, you know your own kid, maybe they could take on a five hour game, that's fine. But for the most part, from what I've seen, um, shorter games tends to go over better. Um, unless it, it also depends on how action packed the game is, how engaging, uh, the game is. Uh, if it's more of like a, you're moving around the board and bop, 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 you know, that might, that might get old for them after about 30 to 45 minutes. But if you're playing something that's like real time strategy where you're like action packed and always moving around and your kid really likes that, they might not notice that two hours have gone by. So again, that goes back to picking the right game. Um, the other thing uh, that I've noticed that uh, tends to work out is slowly introducing rules. Um, and what I mean by this is treating them almost like expansions when you use the rules. So actually cutting out some of the rules from games. I do, um, I have a teach the teach on Overboss for, um, and, and it uses pretty much this uh, style that I'm talking about, <laughs> where like you introduce uh, the base game rules, but you introduce new rules almost like expansions uh, with, the, with each gameplay that you do. Um, so if you want to have a more in-depth, um, you know, view on that, go check out my Overboss Teach the Teach. But I'll give an example of, say, something like Galaxy Trucker. Galaxy Trucker is, um, you know, there's a lot going on in that game. You might want to cut out some of the components. So, for example, for those who are familiar with Galaxy Trucker, um, there are, like, the double engines or the double thrusters, but then there's also the double missile shooter things, and then you also need batteries for those. I would say take all of that out. Uh, the, the pieces that have, like, the aliens on them uh, that you can, like, attach to where, like, the astronauts go or whatever, just take that out um, and just simply play with 
absolute basics, right? Where it's like, okay, there's only single thrusters, there's only single missiles, you're not worrying about aliens, you just got your space for cargo holds and for your little astronauts and everything. Um, and, and this might be good for maybe like a 10 year old or something I would gauge. Uh, again, you know the child better than I do. Um, and then slowly, and I would probably only play one round and play maybe just that tutorial, those tutorial cards that come in um, the, the game, uh, the base game, which is really, really cool. And that way they see all the types of events that come out. You just play one game of that, see if they like it, right? And then it's like, tally up the score, whoever had the most money at the end, wins and then the next game you play maybe you introduce something a little bit more maybe you introduce the double thrusters or the aliens uh, or maybe you play two rounds and, and like shuffle up the deck maybe there's a nif there's different events that come out uh things like that right so with each gameplay this is also why it requires patience when teaching t uh children because you're introducing uh newer and newer mechanisms that are already in the base game that could be fun and interesting for children where it's like what okay cool this is new whatever you know like and, and, and like how we get with expansions like oh my gosh this expansion it adds this thing it's so cool you know uh so i think that could be cool for kids uh and the last thing is when you're teaching kids check in on them make sure they understand what's going on like as you're explaining the rules because they might just yes you and uh-huh you and nod and whatever Make sure they actually understand what's going on, like checking in with them, like, does that make sense to you or whatever? And they'll let you know, hopefully, um, and making sure that if they don't understand, you don't make them feel like they're dumb for not knowing or that they're inadequate in any way. Nothing like that, right? Because these, these are very formative years um, for, for people. So um, showing them that it's okay to not understand something and showing them that it's okay to ask for help when needed um, and that it's okay uh, to ask questions, right? And, and that way they could better learn and know how to play the game. These are life lessons that they could be learning here, people. So that's awesome. Anyway, those are my tips and tricks for how to teach children board games. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other sort of tips and tricks on how to teach children that has worked for you, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to see that. Anyway, I will catch you next time. Have a good one.